welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and I am a mum to three. On my channel, I share videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. And today is all about my Monica cupboard. If you don't know what Monica cupboard means, it's referencing Monica from Friends when she's really neat freak and everything's all neat and tidy but then one day Chandler discovers that she has this cupboard where she shoves everything in. This is my Monica cupboard although the rest of the house hasn't been great but this is particularly the cupboard where it just all goes goes to hide goes to die in there. Um, so there are two stages to this. These two are going to take me time but I'm going to start with this one today. I don't want to spend hours and hours doing it, so that's why I'm going to do a bit today, a bit tomorrow, and hopefully that will see it all done. It's not as bad as two and a half years ago. I'll link the video so you can see what it originally, originally was like. It was bad. It was bad. But it's not, it's not as bad as it was back then, but it does need a redo, especially this bottom bit. So, wish me luck. So basically what I've done is I've got string and thingy roll, I can't even think what that's called, parcel tape. I've got these which I do use, these I don't use but I'm going to make an effort to use them up because it's just silly not using them just because they're not recyclable, I have to still use them. Uh, and then I've put all the bags the right way up so I can flick through and see which ones that I want to give to somebody. This bag is full of ribbons and tags and bows and things like that and then at the back this is a banner that says happy birthday to Grace and this is a bag full of party bits like balloon blower uppers and party poppers and happy party birthday poppers. party poppers and yeah. happy birthday um banners and things like that party and then poppers. there's some tablecloths here's a party popper do you want to pull it no. come and sit with me then no, 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 if you do it with no. me you have to point it away from your face and then pull really hard on the string really hard really hard oh oh my ear <laughs> go and find the stuff Whew. it's over there look <laughs> And here is all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. It's stuff that obviously is just wrappers, bags that were ripped, paper that is unsalvageable because it's just all creased and ripped. Or... Yeah. So that's done and I just need to tackle these two shelves tomorrow. So today I'm going to finish off. So I'm going to do this shelf and this shelf. Some of this shelf actually got taken out and the games that were in here, there were a few games, got put in my living room uh, declutter. You would have seen the TV cupboard. There was an empty cupboard. I put some of the games in there. So we now, we're very grown up, um, have our own games cupboard, which is very exciting. So yeah, it probably looks a bit different to when you saw it the other day, um, but that's because I've cleared some stuff out and then just put it back in. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do this and this. <sighs> Wish me luck.
is me and my little sister. Do you think that looks like Lily? I think she looks like my sister. everything that I want to go in the cupboard. There's a lot still here. Um, all the girls' old exercise books and things, I'm gonna have a proper look through and see if they're worth keeping. I mean, the reception year one, they're not, I doubt, I doubt it. Um, and then there's all old baby books and things. Grace has three. This is Lily's that isn't even completed and William doesn't have a single one. Um, and then, Old school photos, I think, well not old, but you know, previous year school photos. Um, I just, I'm not gonna get rid of them, but what do, you, what do you do with them? Do you just not buy them? But I loved, I have to say, as an adult, when my mum gave me all of my old school photos, I loved getting them. So, um, I guess I just put them with their school books that I decide to keep and then give them to them when they're a bit older and leave home. Because um, it's nice to see who you were in class with and I was able to go on Facebook and go, oh, look up these people and um, look back on things. But yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm done. It didn't take as long as I thought it was going to do, actually. I could have tagged it onto the end of the living room one. Never mind. Um, yeah, I need to find a home for the remaining things though. Um, but yeah, I've got much more space here for if I need anything. But that's it. Okay, so this is everything that's left. So I've just got um, some plugs I need to find where they go, some empty boxes from like Kindles and things like that. This is all of their work. Um, and baby books I need to rehome probably in the loft, which I know you'll be like, just don't keep it. But I know, not the work, I'm gonna go through the books and only keep the best books that really, that they might, I might not keep any, but the baby books and things are gonna go in the loft because I know that I like looking at them when I grew up. So, but yeah, the work, I'm gonna look through the books, but, um, and old school photos and things and some old, birthday cards and that needs to go in the recycling <sighs> job done i hope you enjoyed watching the video if you did give it a thumbs up give it a comment i will get back to you i was rubbish last week but we had a hospital trip and all things i got behind and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed so that you get notified of new videos see you next week bye